Okay, some other big news. I want to show it off. I'm really excited about this bike. This is a brand new red anodized 26 inch race ink absolutely covered in Cook Brothers parts. Some you can get, some you can't quite get yet, but this is a full custom build from the ground up, and I think I'm gonna end up racing this bike in an upcoming event. But this video is gonna focus quite a lot on this bike right there, the red one, and I, I, I don't wanna show you the whole bike yet. You're gonna have to watch this video and not skip ahead because I'm gonna go over some of the really rad, hard to get, not hard to get, Cook Brothers parts that you can find and build your bike. So we're gonna go over those parts and I'm gonna give you a breakdown of the build and then I'm gonna reveal the entire bike for you. But first, off to Unity, so let's go. Hello and welcome back to this episode of Rad BMX Builds. Thanks for being here. Today we're gonna settle a big question. Are the new racing bikes race or are the new racing bikes street? So we're gonna dive into it. I have two racing builds, one for the street, one for the track. And I'm gonna let you comment down below after we go over these bikes and you tell me what are they? Are they street bikes or are they big wheeled race bikes? Let's take a look at bike number one. Okay, I do have to start off by telling you that both bikes are the same platform. They are the Race Inc. RA26, which is a 26 inch bike. Now the first one I'm going to show you is a rare color, but you can buy this frame and build the bike, which is what I did using Batima parts, Cook Brothers parts, and Knight Bike Company parts. This is a great bike. I had a really good time building it, but I want to show you that this is a custom street 26 inch build, and that was my intention all along when I built this. So let's go over some of the parts that are on this bike. Okay, starting up front, we have the Box One Grips mated with a Cook Brothers brake lever. And these are attached to the new Tongi Tall BMX style Pro Bars, as you can see here. Okay, keeping these bars in place is a high polished Night Bike Company Roughneck and a Batima headset, and it has a carbon fiber cap. This new Batima headset just came out and is nicely adapted to the Race Inc. bike and of course, holding on to a brand new pair of Botima forks. Okay, for tires on this bike are the brand new Box 2 26 inch by 2.10. These are in a gum wall tire, you can also get them in black. And of course, little touches like the pink valve stem cap. And these are mated onto Rhino Light Sun rims. The seat on this bike is a mission seat and it's padded and that is mated to the Cook Brothers fluted seat post. Holding that seat post to the bike is the polished Night Bike Company seat post clamp. Out back we have the Cook Brothers V-brake which is a beautiful polished V-brake with beautiful brake shoes, just looks really good on this bike and matches the brake lever up front. Out back on this bike, you will notice that it is utilizing the dropout armor that we've talked about in the past. And then it has the new Cook Brothers oil slick chain. That is going around the Night Bike Company polished sprocket and power disc mated to a three piece chrome crank and a black platform style pedal. Okay, so that's it. That's the RA26 pink bike. That was a full custom build. 
more of a street rider, custom decals, custom everything on this bike. It only comes in a frame if you were to buy it. And of course, I will link down below where you can purchase these bikes, headsets, and forks from abmxc.com. This is a great riding bike, absolutely one of my favorites, but this is only one of two. This is the street version. Now let's see if we can figure out if Race Inc. is building street bikes or race bikes. Okay, I wanna take a moment and talk about this next bike because it is very, very special. It is not only available to you, but it's just completely flooded with some of the best parts and components you can get. And some, unfortunately, at this point, at the time of making this video, you cannot get. Some are currently unavailable, but will be in production at some point, hopefully in the very near future. So, the next bike is the race version that I built into a race bike based off the Race Inc. RA26 platform. But I wanted this bike to be as light as possible, as strong as possible, and look really cool at the same time. I'm gonna go over and show you the parts that are on it, and then you let me know down below what you think of the RA26 Race Inc. race bike that I built. Let's check out all these parts and components and what this bike looks like all put together. Okay, we'll start out up front again. As you can see, we use the box grips and I went with a gold on one end, red on the inside and a red end cap. And then again, we have the Cook Brothers levers and I don't think I showed you on the last one, but it does say Cook Brothers underneath there. And then I outfitted it with a kind of a metallic gold brake lever, which I think looks really good on there. The rad plate with gold decals. And then as we work our way down the front of the bike, you're going to see first up is a Cook Brothers gold headset, a custom rad BMX gold decal on the head tube, and then the race ink forks on this bike, race ink red hoops, and gold sealed bearing hubs. I'm also running the box two tires on this, again in 26 by 2.10, and added the gold acorn nut for an old school look. Okay, then as we come along to the inside of the bars, you're going to see the etched Cook Brothers Racing. These are titanium bars, extremely light, extremely strong. And I figured that was the best partnership for a race bike is to use a lightweight, strong bar. And again, it being Cook Brothers, you're gonna see that theme carried all throughout this build using a lot of Cook Brothers parts on this racing bike. So let's take a look at these. These are red and gold anodized pads by Flight. These are new but currently available at Flight BMX. So go check them out for pads and donuts if you like that kind of stuff. Okay, we take the pad off of the stem and you see a race ink stem with a Cook Brothers headset. And then as we kind of pan down, you'll see I did some alternating colors there with gold spacers, red spacers, and then you can see the laser and etched Cook Brothers Racing logo. For a seat on this bike, I chose to go with the Monza Alina style seat that is available currently at Monza, but it is attached to the Cook Brothers titanium seat post matching the handlebars. And this Cook Brothers seat post is currently available. However, that really rad squared off Cook Brothers seat post clamp in gold is not currently available, but hopefully will be soon. But what a great combination. I love these colors. I think they came out so good. All right, let's check out the brakes in the rear. Okay, out back again, we have the Cook Brothers V brake in gold. And you can see a few of the differences here, like the brake shoe, and then the bolt that holds the brake to the frame and then how the cable is pinched in there by a recessed bolt as well. Really high-end, beautiful brakes in a gorgeous color gold. Again, laser etched with the Cook Brothers name. Doesn't get any more rad than that. Okay, out back again, I chose to use the dropout armor on this to utilize 3 8 axles, gold hubs. But on this one, I used a gold chain and it goes to a pretty simple gold chain ring sprocket. The Cook Brothers Racing Cranks. These are not available to you yet. 
hopefully very soon. But I did use a red line washer in there with the crank bolt because it was red and I really liked that. It comes with a silver one, I just wanted to add some color. And then I attached the Welgo platform pedals to these. These have some really gnarly teeth on them, but I thought they looked really good as a cruiser race bike. Okay, as you can see on this RA26 Race Inc, it's a full custom build where I've added the gold decals to this frame on the side where it says Race Inc and on the head tube where it says Rad BMX Builds and then a lot of alternating red and gold colors. This bike is the lightest bike in my collection, an absolutely strong, solid, lightweight race bike. So the first bike you saw was the pink road bike and this is the red race bike. So now it's time. I want you to comment down below and tell me what you think. Is Race Inc. a race bike 26 inch or is it a road bike 26 inch? Let me know what you think. Okay, here they are together so you can kind of get a visual of them side by side. What an awesome looking duo and they do not ride the same. They both ride incredibly well, but they give rider feedback is a little bit different on both of them. One is more of a relaxed, casual bike. The other one, the red one, the race one, just seems very firm, fast, light, powerful, where the other one, the pink one, just seems like a really good around town bike. And I'm really happy with that feeling because that's how I built them. I built the pink one for the street. I built the red one for no nonsense track. So tell me what you think. Which one would you pick if you could only pick one? Okay, neither one of these builds would have been possible if it wasn't for American BMX Company, Race Inc., Batima Forks, Cook Brothers Racing, and Night Bike Company. So thank you to all of those folks that were involved in making, producing, and giving me the parts to build these two. Extremely different, but the same, and both very rad bikes. I couldn't be more happy with them. I love riding these bikes. If you're ever on the fence on whether to buy a Race Inc. bike or not, take it from me. Don't miss out. Just go get one. I have them in 20, I've had them in 24, I've had them in 26, and I've loved every single one of them, and I got nothing but praises for that company, those other companies that make the parts, and just the overall fun and feel of these bikes. Okay, some of those parts I know aren't available, but make sure you're checking out those websites because when they do become available, you don't want to miss out. I'm sure some of these parts are going to be pretty limited. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed these bikes. Remember, comment down below, and if you haven't done so yet, please subscribe. I look forward to seeing you in the next video, and as always, stay rad.